San Diego, California, Tab 2023. I got my guy Minnie Hay in the building. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, guys. My name is Minnie Hay, straight out of London, UK. London, UK. Look, we international now. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, welcome, welcome back to the States. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate sure, that. First time in, in San Diego, though, right? This is my first time in San Diego, but my second okay. time in the States. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I actually came out here, I think it was 2015, with Artist Auditions. Really? Okay. Wow. Um, I opened up for Chris Brown and Tiger in Tacoma Dome, Seattle, Washington. Oh, that's amazing. So, yeah, man, that was my first that's time. That's amazing. Man. All right, so right away, man, I got to ask, like, you know, we've seen the influence, obviously, in hip hop music or music in general from America. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, uh, to the UK, but I feel like we're being influenced by the UK <laughs> and vice versa. With, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, yeah. like like we have so many incredible artists, man. Yeah. Um, that are now in mainstream pop. You know, from from the UK and just, uh, what are your thoughts on that? Talk about that. I, I feel like I love the way the direction is going. Right. And if we be perfectly honest, like hip hop, the culture, it began in the US. You know. And we're embracing the way things are growing. And right. the UK, you guys are embracing us, to be honest with you. Facts, facts. And the way we do what we do. And, and that's why I'm loving the direction it's going, man. And it's just amazing. And that's why I'm even here today. Because yeah. it's, you have opened your arms for someone like an artist like me from the UK, man. I mean, look, I, I, you might be the only one from the UK, <laughs> yeah, artist-wise, in the building right now. So that, that, that's huge. But, like, it, it, it's a, it, it's tough to get be an independent artist, you Definitely. know what I mean, in the states to pop out and get the opportunity. Yeah. And tell artists, you know, you gotta, you gotta participate in things like this. Yeah, I think for artists, the difficult thing is, bro, it's like, n not just being an artist. Right. You know, like I, I love making music, but I can't only just make music. I, I've got to wear different hats. I've right. got to reach out to the people. Facts. You gotta learn the business side you of it. You gotta learn the business side of it. Yeah. You know. And so. that's one of the good things that they're, they're covering today. You know, this weekend. But like. What, what, what do you think the difference is from you as an artist from, say, the last time you worked with, with artist auditions yeah. to now? Like, how have you changed or developed as an artist? Um, I think back in the day when I came, I was really a novice, you know? I just, I just, I made Set music. Set in a little bit. You <laughs> it's the truth. I'm, I'm a very honest person with myself. Yeah. I didn't really know the game or the business. I just liked making music. Now I'm here. I've got my booth. I've got my merch, you know? Um, I've got my mailing list. I've got models right you know and, uh, and those, those are some of the things that those are little things but when you come to events like this you see how important those things are yeah you know what i mean and, and we were just talking about the music is one thing but the business side and the presence yeah. you know uh, uh, of your artist brand and awareness is, is that's is it. huge it's making the awareness and just getting the brand out there and that visibility you know right it was kind of funny when we walking down to the venue some people in the barber shop they kind of they popped out it's like hey hey man What's that on your T-shirt, man? What's that? Because I think they kind of recognize. Oh yeah, no, look at the shirt. Look at the shirt. They recognized that? it was a bit Run so, DMD. Of course, of because course. That that's legendary. I'm paying hip -hop. homage to the Facts. people that you know. Okay, so let's talk about that a little bit. So this year we're celebrating 50 years of hip hop. Yeah. Um, as a kid, you grew up with hip hop music. Who are some of the artists that influenced you or that they were popular? You know, growing up in, in the UK. In the UK. Yeah. Not American artists, then. But if I be perfectly honest with you, me coming up, I was actually more influenced by American artists. Who, who are some of the artists? Who? So, like, my, my favorite artist is Havoc from Mob Deep. Wow, okay. That's my favorite artist ever. Shout to Havoc one time. Yeah, Havoc, man. Rest in peace, P. MOBB. You know, MOBB, -E <laughs> no, we, we So, we just had a, a, an artist from New York here. Okay. And we were talking about how some, some of that New York sound is making its way back to yeah. hip hop. You know 100. what I'm saying? Yeah. But in the UK, I've always been told this. UK like super hip hop fans. Yeah. Like yo, they yo, don't yo. really go with the trends. Like they still they stick to they still on they still on that uh, that grimy. Right? Yeah, like I love. It. I listen to Fabulous still. It's funny because most of the music I listen to is very old school. I right. don't really listen to much of this new stuff. You know, if you look at my you. playlist is so old, it's nineties. <laughs> it's so nineties. I'm still on. Have no wrong with this, that. You know. But I feel like in the UK that that's still appreciated. You know, whereas out here we have so much, so many American artists that, that come out every day. The yeah. trends change so frequently. Definitely. You know what I mean? And I like what you said, where you said like, we don't really follow much trends. We just stick to what we Facts. stick to. And I think it's the lyrical content. So like, there's artists in the UK, but there's some that stand out. And I think it's for the lyrical content. You got artists like Jay Huss, you right. know, and these people. They're amazing artists because yeah. they they don't spend time on. What's popping? What's buzzing? What's good? So, if you were to ask like a regular, a regular hip hop fan about any UK artist, I don't know who would they say, but I do know that they might have heard it or a certain artist from Drake. Yeah. Because Drake has been able to bring in some of those UK artists and, and, and use his influence 
to, to kind of spread that into, in, into the game. Most definitely. What your, what, what, what's the typical, like, thought of, thoughts of Drake, you know what I'm saying, when they hear about that? And, and, and do they feel like, yo, Drake's taking our music or taking our sound, or is it a good thing? Is it, like, creating awareness for it? Do you want me to be professional be, or do you want me to be truthful? Hey, I want to know. Be personal. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know. Well, the truth is kind of like, I think there's two sides to it. Right. Some people believe as though it can be culture vulture-ish. Facts. That's what I was getting to. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because it is, it, it is, y'all have your own culture and music, just how we have ours. And yeah. how, you know, the different sides, Atlanta and New York and everything, or L.A., so it's, I'm curious to know. But it's what a good thing. Like. I, I, I don't see it as a culture vulture thing. I see it as. But some could though, right? Yeah, some people like do. Purist, I, I hear it purist. all the time. I hear it all the time, you know. Yeah. But Drake's an amazing artist. And I feel as though he's influenced by our music also. And he uses it in his own. And we do vice versa. Yeah. And now, he, he has like kind of paid homage to some of those too. And putting them on the records and, and, and creating that sound. Because I know in the past, like. Artists may have not even known what that was, you know, yeah. and, the, and some of the drill music too, right? Yeah, you got the drill music. So, like, it's influenced America. Let, let's be real. You know? It has, 100%. <laughs> but you got people like Central C, I think now, Back, who Central is, C. he's out here actually doing things with Drake on tour and, right. and it's big. And like, he's on tour right now with him, I Yeah, believe. I think he's on tour right now with Drake, you know, and that's so, amazing. But that helps people, that helps artists like you too, because now, you know, they're like, oh, you remind me of so-and-so, and then... That could that could put a fan into a whole nother category it's, of music. Yeah, it opens and then doors. You popping up and getting yeah, your music yeah. streamed now. Most definitely. That's a beautiful thing, man. All right, so what's one thing that, that you want to take away from from this conference this weekend? Uh, if I'll be honest with you, um, it's knowledge. Okay, knowledge. You know? Perfect. Got to have I, it. I don't think you can never have enough knowledge. So it's just never. just learning as much over the years and months, applying more and more and more to your brand, Facts. so you can learn. You know where I've come from ten years ago to now, like. Uh, I have to look at it like I'm a new artist. I always I wake yeah. up every day. And things change every day, too. We're still trying to keep up. You got the digital age and social media. That's that it. We all have to learn from 100%. Too. Okay. And well, just networking. Facts. That's what it's all about. Networking with people and collaborating. And utilizing the resources. So we talked about digital and social media. Where can people find you? You can find me on Instagram, Spotify, Twitter, basically every social media at Mini Hay, M I N I H A Y E. Yeah, man, I'm here, man. I just want everyone to tap in, lock okay. in, follow me, support the music. What, it's what, the UK. What's, what's the latest record they need to go stream right now? Go and stream deeper on Spotify right now and check out the music video. And I'm going to be performing that tonight as well. It's my oh, first track. I'll be performing. Wait. We're See here ya. live at the House of Blues, Tap 2023. And uh, we're here, man. We're looking it's forward to more. your boy, Mini Hay. Mini Hay in the building. Keep it locked. Hey, ba-bay-bay. <laughs>